All right, so the 60 day shred challenge is now over. You know, we had literally over 100 people in there completing it, crushing it, which was awesome. You know, we had the series going, we paused it to really focus on that community and that group. But we're just gonna share with you five of the best things we learned, you know, really just what we took out of it, show you the winners, talk about our experiences, and crush a great workout. And we started out with a max rep test. Filming this before I've done it, so hopefully I don't show. Should be nice and good, 325, let's go. So one little fun tidbit for this, you know, I've been super setting it by doing a wide grip row. I really work on the width of my back. Then you know, coming with a close grip row, or find I have a little bit more power, really maximize that thickness. So it's a super set with the same movement, just switching grips. So for me, I obviously didn't drop as much weight. I wasn't sure if I wanted to lose much. I've really been focusing on strength, but I am down about 10, 12, 13 pounds somewhere in that ballpark. You know, I've maintained my strength and I've actually increased it. So just because you're in a small deficit doesn't mean you have to lose all your strength. You can stick to your guns, train hard, and kind of counteract that. You know, eating clean, being really focused, focusing on everything has really helped me maintain that. So that's one thing I definitely really learned is by applying myself fully, I can still get amazing results, even being in a deficit. And one of the biggest things that I learned over the last 60 days was just truly the power of accountability and, and overall a challenge. Like honestly, we didn't know exactly how it would go going into this, but you guys can see just how positive the group was, the amazing feedback, everyone posting such small, big, whatever type of wins that they were having, recipes, it was just honestly so fantastic. Even myself as a coach, there was a lot of times I wanted to deviate from the program, but seeing so many people staying away from alcohol Hall, working towards the same thing, staying consistent. It was just truly the best thing I've ever experienced and I really, really, really look forward to the next one. I wish it wasn't coming to an end, but it's just been such a fantastic time. I just highly encourage anyone Whatever accountability you can get, whether it's a friend, anything like that, it just, it's so powerful. Every one of my clients was just checking in like, wow, I love this, I can't believe this, like it's so amazing. So it's been really fun and uh, that's one of my biggest tips. One of my favorite personal components of this challenge, as you can see in this post here, I asked everyone what they got the most out of it. You can see some of the responses kind of popping up on the screen and you know, it's just great to see different people getting different things, right? And that's what it's all about. You know, take a video we make, the podcast we make, take a tidbit, apply it to your life. You know, coming into knowing your goal, you can say, how can I apply what they're teaching to my goal and it can go such a long way. So one of my goals was to have a weekly challenge each week. So we did different crazy things like no caffeine, which was super hard, but we did it. We did things like do Limber 11 every day, a stretching protocol. We did things like no phone while you're working out, put on airplane mode. And by breaking these up into weeks, I was able to address bigger goals and bigger problems into little micro-sized pieces where I can start to address it and build off the momentum of going week to week. And that's even going past the overall challenge, I had another challenge on top. And another good method of accountability was doing it with my friends because you know it's one thing to let yourself down, it's one thing to let another person down, it's a whole other thing to let a group of people down. So it was an amazing method for accountability. We will be doing challenges in the future, so stay tuned. Uh, but tons more to come in this video, so keep your eyes peeled. One of my biggest tips as well is just have realistic expectations with yourself. So. For me, I started around 183, I'm down to 165. I basically lost two pounds per week. I see my abs when I hit the 150s. I'm only about 165, so I knew exactly what I was gonna hit. I knew I wouldn't be getting a six pack, but I did know that the veins would start to show. Like, it's really good to, I find a lot of times people get hard on themselves, you know? They do the, all this great work, and then they're like, wow, I still don't have a six pack, or wow, like, I still have a bit of fat. Like, it's totally normal, and you're not, you know, uh, unnormal, like, you're still a human. Just have realistic expectations with yourself. Like each week I set a goal of, okay, 1.5 pounds this week, two pounds this week, you know? Just stay the course, be consistent, and be patient overall as well. So above all, like over the uh, physical progress within the last 60 days, I think the biggest thing that I learned was just like the mental uh, side of things, like in terms of just progressing. So there was a lot of things at the start of the 60 day challenge. I'm like, there's no way I'll ever be able to accomplish, right? 60 days, of, 60 days of no alcohol, 60 days of no junk food, even a week of caffeine, you know, 
I went from doing a five kilometer run at this pace and was able to do a 15 kilometer run at an even faster pace. You know, I'll post it on the, on the screen here. But basically there's a lot of things that just overall I overcame mentally. I feel like everyone in this challenge did as well. And I think the biggest thing I've also learned is that literally anything you accomplish, especially just from this past year of setting really crazy, unrealistic goals, you can accomplish it. You know, if you're extremely overweight, you can lose 100 pounds within the year. If you want to go from squatting 225, you can do 405 by the end of the year. All you have to do is trust the process, be consistent, set a bit unrealistic expectations and goals, like just out of your comfort zone. It's crazy what you can accomplish when you set those types of goals. I've seen it first hand from doing a 475 squat this year to being able to run 15K at an extremely fast pace right after. It's just, it's so much fun. And I believe in every single one of you that's watching this. Yeah, so for me as well, you know, I started about 223 before the challenge. I think I started the challenge around 218, 219. My goal for me was to get to 210. I brought it down there. Now I've been sitting about 212 at home. We'll see what I am today. Uh, and the reason for that, you know, is I've been really focused on strength as well. And for me, um, I don't care to be shredded, shredded. Right now I'm lean, but I'm not diced out of my mind. Obviously, you can see like, you know, these photos here, I've really got to push 205, 200. And, you know, at this point, it just wasn't really sitting with my goals. I probably will dive down there again, but I was really happy with this challenge. And what's really cool is I actually hit two all time PRs. We'll show those clips now. Are some crazy crazy PRs for me I was really hyped so just overall such a great journey you know I challenged my norms I challenged you know just everything with it so had so much fun yep about what I thought there we go so wait for it to calculate but pretty hyped on that let's get it we'll see where I'm at right now just kind of jump on here there we go one eighty two point four. Sixty seven. Yeah. So um, as you can see there, end weight is about one sixty seven. Uh, I was really pumped. I'll just do a little physique update. So obviously, you know, the abs aren't popping just yet, but I was really happy because I had a lot of weight and a lot of chunk to lose, and I did lose a good amount, and I'm really happy. So I want to commit to this as well. And truthfully, if I didn't have you guys following along with me, you know, the world is weird right, right now, like Josh said. I just want to be able to document. I want to be able to help you guys out, and I want to also stick to it myself too. So, Let's you know, see a little just... flex, bro. Jeez. We get the back going for contrast. In 60 days, this is going to be a whole new this body. This is going to be insane. I'm so committed. I'm so ready. Even in the back, you know, you can see a difference between the last one. And this one, you know, just um, overall really happy with the results, you know, and especially happy with everybody that committed, you know, I don't really care as much about myself, but I'm really happy with just every single person that lost, whether they lost five pounds, 10 pounds, even some people lost up to 20 pounds in this challenge. It's just been really, really fun. And, uh, you know, if you are looking forward to the next one, like you really, really need to jump on it. Maybe we'll do one sooner than later. So even though the challenge is now over, if you still want to, you know, jump on board with me and Kyle, hire us to be your personal coaches. We do have the summer special going on, which is another great opportunity. So if you miss out, I highly recommend you do this. And this is going to be even better because we're going to really nail down your nutrition, your training, and your lifestyle, your accountability. We're going to game plan for you. We're going to be there for you. Unlimited text interaction, weekly check-ins, custom routines, custom nutrition regimens. We want to be on your team. So click that first link in the description down below. Submit a detailed inquiry because we actually do turn away about 50% of the applicants who actually don't take the time to really let us know what they need. We want to work with people that really want to transform. We don't want clients, we want success stories. So if you want to be our next success story, first link in the description down below.